from last year. <laughs> this is the 100 kilometer finish here, yeah? That's the 100 K mark, and I was a bit late, so about four runners have come in from the 100 mile race. Hey Darren, good on ya! Darren and Levi are coming. Well done, Darren. Where's Luke? Who's pacing? Levi. You need to go and talk to the medical guys and tell them you put on weight. They're a bit concerned. I haven't put on weight. Oh, it's 72.4, 70.4, 69.5. Where's something in the layout? And up here I don't care about my um carbies, carbs and small No mains, man. What's going on? Yeah, I decided to go mainless. There you go. Grab oh, the leg, Tell me the way. I'll give you that thing. No, you just want to fuck and have a girl rather than mine. Very strong. Look, Johnny's only like 10 minutes in front of you. Johnny. I'm not going to be able to be over the midnight. So, Johnny, look. Good on you, Mal. Good on you, mate. Well done. Hey, 
Well done, Mal. Congratulations. Well done. That's really good. Thank you. <laughs> Who needs a head talk? They've taken five years or so. Oregon, <laughs> 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 There's a blue just 500 yards oh, behind us. I don't <laughs> care. He's <laughs> saying there's a girl. You're going, I don't care. I'm going to No, no, that's exactly right. Yeah. I didn't, didn't see it. Didn't see that, that whole I kept <laughs> checking. You must have ran well. Because I, because I was motoring and I didn't see it. Mal, how are you? I just saw you come in. What happened to you today? Um, I had a good day. Yep. Conditions were favourable. Very, very. Favorable. What place did you get? I have no idea at all. Um, I was second male, third, third overall. This is in the hundred kilometre we're talking about. Yep. It's probably been half a dozen hundred milers come through. Andrew Vyse and a few others. Um, looks like there's been a few casualties through the day. Um, uh, Quark McClimont, he's yep. a you know, super runner. Uh, I think he he pulled out. I saw um, Dave Wall looked like he was struggling at the basin. Um, but no, no, I had a good day. I had, had a bit of a bad patch when it was really hot. Um, and where was that? Uh, probably probably after Congway. Um, probably for the next two hours or so. Yeah, just uh, obviously the, the, the heat of the day, and I probably was pushing a little bit hard. Trying I was trying to take on a lot of fluid, and it didn't really work. I ended up spewing about a litre. <laughs> <laughs> a litre of heat. And you're up, you're up from Melbourne again, aren't you? Yes, up from Melbourne, yeah. So when did you arrive up? Uh, last night, very late. Oh, wow. Our flight was delayed, so uh, so I think I got to bed about quarter past two this morning, up at four. So I'm going, looking forward to a nice sleep tonight. And um, are you going to come back up again this year for another race, the 12 hours maybe at Narrabeen or something um, like that? Yeah, yeah, I'm planning on Narrabeen. Um, yeah, uh, although I'll, I'm probably going to go to the 100 kilometre uh, right. event rather than the 12 hour. So I'm yeah. trying to run fast 100 kilometre times. This was actually a training run for me. I haven't really <laughs> tapered for this race, so um, it tells me I'm in reasonable shape. That's good. And what was your time for the 100Ks? Um, I think it was 12 hours 50. Well, congratulations, Mel, and hope to see you around again. Okay, now if you look around, you'll notice. It's daylight. <laughs> That's first, right. First time I've ever finished in daylight. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you.